I know you didn't want that second part, but I went ahead and threw it in there because it was not very much you had me do. Boxcar Racer with and I. Okay, so um, this is a, you know, straight 16th note, so it's down and ups. Um, I have it all tabbed out. This is a CBT guitar lesson, by the way, for James. Um, try to listen to where those octave changes fall in line by ear first, okay? So, and then you got the tab if you really need to fine tune that, all right? Coming in at nine seconds, it's standard tuning. We got 9A, muted D, and 11G. So it's an octave, F sharp octave. This is your F sharp root. And then fret 11 is your octave. Make sure the D string's muted, not pressed down. With the index, mute the string, uh, string six. And with my third finger, I actually mute the B. And with my index, I actually mute the E. So when you gotta do like big strumming, it's nice to cover all the bases when it comes to muting. So one E and a two E and a three E. In other words, 10 strums, okay? Um, if you need to kind of subgroup it smaller, you can count kind of in fours, count it as a 16th note progression, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, okay? And as you can tell, I am muting. If, I'm, if I don't mute, I run the risk of this. It could be real noisy, so. Over to D octaves, which is same strings, but five and seven. Make sure you're only hearing two notes, string five, string three. Down, up, down, up. From there, move it up a whole step sharp. That means two frets to seven and nine. Same thing. Down, up, down, up. Now here's where it gets a little trickier. Back to the, so we're gonna go back to the five, seven. So we got the F sharp, the D, E, back to the D. Now this is down, up, down. So it's a three count. We have a 10, a four, a four, and a three. From there, we gotta jump up to Back to our starting octaves, our F sharp root octave, 9A and 11G. This is up, down, up, down, up. It's five. So if you put that with the prior octave, you get eight. Three counts on the D octave, five counts, five counts on the um, F sharp octave, which gives you your eight. Tom just split it, right? Um, and then go to five and seven. Four times, down, up, down, up. So let me play it slowly for you. Then it repeats. Anyways, section two at 27 seconds. I know you didn't want this part, but um, I just felt like I, needed, I wanted to give you a little bit more on the house here. 5A, 7D, 7G. You can use index or third, third and fourth, or you can kind of do the bar concept. A lot of players like to do that. Muting string six, so it doesn't ring. It's another 16th note strum progression. Um, it's a full measure. And music, if you're counting, it's 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a, the best way is to try and just get it by feel. But if you have to count it, count it until it starts to flow and, and become natural. Up to 799 E, A, and D, eight times. To 355, eight times. And you do all that twice. So it's a D power chord with the octave, a B, and a G. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me a text, whatever. But um, there's your two CBT lessons. Until next time, keep rocking.